If you're going to spend a lot of time writing and editing documents, perhaps in collaboration with others, it's nice to be able to use the very best tools out there for doing so. In choosing a text editor for writing LaTeX for yourself, it's worth comparing NeoVim to a number of other options. The first of which is TechShop or TechMaker, which are very simple and nice to have upon install, but nevertheless lack a lot of the features one ought to expect of a modern editor. Another option is Overleaf, which is a user-friendly setup and provides more features than TechShop or TechMaker and also useful for collaborating with others since many different collaborators can all edit the same document. However, also has some disadvantages, leaving you stuck editing your document in the browser instead of having control of the files for yourself on your own computer. Another class of options include IDEs like VS Code or Sublime Text, which provide many more features and a lot more customizability than something like Overleaf or TechShop or TechMaker and allow you to have control of the documents you're editing while also providing for Git integration so that you can push and pull changes from a cloud such as Overleaf or a repository on GitHub or something similar. Although IDEs are feature rich, they also are much heavier than you probably need for writing LaTeX documents and are not as customizable as something like NeoVim. By contrast with heavyweight IDEs, NeoVim is a PDE or personal development environment, providing you the flexibility to build from the ground up the configuration that best suits your needs. In a previous video series, I reviewed my configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents, including a full feature set, easing the research process. Whereas that original configuration was written in VimScript, this new configuration that I will be presenting here is written in Lua and mostly includes Lua plugins. There are two main reasons motivating me to port my config over to Lua. The first is that Lua is a fast, modern language which is easier to learn and to adjust than VimScript, which is an antiquated language full of idiosyncrasies. The second reason for switching my config to Lua is that the community is excited about this direction that NeoVim is going, making Lua a first-class language where people are now able to write plugins in Lua and there's just a lot of excitement about doing so. And I would like to future-proof the config so as to stay up to date with the community. With this brief introduction, I'll devote the remainder of this video series to demonstrating some of the features which I've included in my configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents, as well as instructions on how to install this configuration for yourself on both Mac and Arch Linux operating systems. I will also include a video series on how to adapt this configuration for your own needs, changing the key bindings and settings and plugins to suit your own workflow. I will also go over how to use Git and the Git integration included in the configuration so that you can push and pull changes from your own repository living on the cloud to back up your work, as well as how to collaborate with others using Git. I hope that this video series is helpful and that it helps promote some of the modern tools out there for editing text. In analogy, I feel that writing LaTeX in a very simple editor like TechShop is something akin to using a typewriter, but just hunting and pecking instead of learning how to touch type. So if you like touch typing and are interested in learning how you can further extend the power of the keyboard for both composing and editing text, then I hope that this video series will be helpful to you 
and perhaps to others.